Hello, today we're going to continue our discussion of creating links using the anchor tag. In the previous video, we learned how to create a link to another web page using an absolute URL. Today we're going to learn how to make relative URLs. So let's go ahead and get started uh, by creating a link to another one of our pages. Uh, by the way, you'll notice that as I'm coding, I am using kind of a split screen where I can see here how my page is looking as I'm doing the code over here. I recommend something like that. That makes it much easier. Now, before we, we actually start creating our links, it's important that you have consolidated your website into one location, one folder. So here's the folder for my sample website. And notice I have several web pages. None of them have very much content at this point. But once you start creating links, if you move these into a different folder or subfolder, you're going to be breaking those links. So you want to figure out your locations first and then create your links second. Now, because all of these web pages are in the same folder and the folder itself will be my website, it will be easy to link the pages to each other. So right now I'm on my index page. If I wanted to link to my football page or my Marvel movies page, uh, I, it would be quite simple. Uh, again, we're going to do the A tag, the A tag um, and the attribute href instead of the entire URL that would need to be HTTP S colon backslash backslash or file colon backslash backslash. We're just going to put the name of the, the file, which is going to work because we're in the same folder. As long as I spell it correctly, it's going to work. So if I did uh, Marvel movies.html provided that what I have here matches exactly what is in the same folder, the computer is going to be able to find it just fine and we'll be able to open up uh, very easily. Uh, so of course in between the A and the close I tag, I type whatever text or put an image that we can click on to activate the hyperlink. Um, uh, go to my Marvel page. So let's go ahead and save that and see how it works. We'll re come over here to our browser and refresh our page. There is our link and when I click on it, sure enough it works. So again, uh, very simple. Uh, the URL is going to be just the file name provided that they're in the same folder. Now if they're in a different folder, we're going to need to modify the path so we can find the page easily. Now another attribute that I would like to bring to your attention uh, is the target attribute and that's going to go in uh, these tags. So um, let's go ahead and show you what that might look like. So let's say I want this page to open up, the visit canvas page, but I don't want it to open up in the same window. I want it to open up in a different window. We can actually target a different window or a different frame by adding the attribute target equals. And if I wanted to open in a different window, that by default it's going to open in this window, but if I wanted to open a different window, I'm going to do underscore blank. Now that's going to cause the link to open up not in my same page, but in a different page. Sometimes that's what you want. So let's see, save that and see how that looks. And when I come over to here, I click Canvas. And as you can see, it's opening up in a different window. And that is how we create uh, links that are uh, relative because the, the pages are in the same relative location. And then our previous video, we took a look at absolute links using the complete URL. And then we added the attribute target so we can uh, determine where that page gets loaded. 